Hello, welcome back to my video. In this video, I will be showing you how to launch a Windows EC2 instance. And for this video, I'll be using a free uh, instance uh, for the demo. So over here, uh, you can see uh, the launch instance button. So I'll be clicking on that. I'll launch this instance. It will give me uh, the a st quick start menu where I can select the uh, free tier only. Uh, I'll check uh, for Windows Server and this page is where you can customize the type of hardware you require for your instance. I'll be selecting the free one. Go to the next page. Here you can select the number of instance you want. Uh, I'll be just leaving it at one and also I'll leave all the other default settings, uh, the network and subnet provided by uh, AWS. I'll go to the next page. Over here, you have the, each instance comes with a root volume and you can either increase or decrease that, but I choose to uh, leave it as the default uh, size. And I also have the option to uh, tag my instance. So I'll be giving it a name called uh, Wings to, uh, and then uh, go over to the next page. Right, this is where you can select um, the type of port uh, to allow uh, traffic into your um, instance. Uh, for Windows Server, I would like to use a remote desktop protocol connection. Um, so I'll be leaving it at this default. And I will also like to name my uh, security group for future uh, reference. Right, go to the next page. Um, so my I go to launch and I would like to uh, select uh, uh, I would like to create a new key pair for my instance and I'll name it um, wins2 key pair uh, I'll download that and launch my instance I'll click on my instance to see and then wait for it to be ready for connection. As you can see, the instance is ready for connection. We we'll select the instance, uh, click on connect, uh, RDP client, uh, get the password, browse, and select that from my download. Decrypt the password and have a copy. Now the next bit will be to download your remote desktop file and open that. Connect. Paste the password. Click OK. Yes. See that. OK. So now I'll go to uh, my server manager. Wait for the uh, top table uh, to be installed. Then I select add roles and features. Click next, next, uh, next. I need to add the one for web server, IIS. Add the features, next, 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 and then install. I'll wait for that. Now I have the fault table installed. I'll go to my file explorer, this PC. and start from this folder. And that's my connection. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.